What's up, beautiful humans? Welcome back to Stay True to You with your girl, Karishma. I am stoked for this episode because it is as real and raw as it gets. I am sharing a piece of content that I um, shared privately with my clients in a Facebook group that we have with each other. And um, I go live once in a while in that Facebook group to connect with my clients, may they be alumni or current clients. And um, we talk about different topics on self-development, self-healing journeys, and what it's like to just deepen the relationship that you have with yourself. So um, this live was honestly a spontaneous one that I did in the Facebook group. And I just spoke from the heart. It was such a powerful live that one of my clients came back to me and was like, Kurish, I think you should make this a podcast episode. Uh, it's really helpful. So here I am sharing a little sneak preview of the work that my clients get to dive into with me. And you're going to get to listen to the live that I did in this Facebook group. And it's all about what it means to be yourself. And you're going to hear me in this episode talk a lot about authenticity and your authentic expression. And if you're a big uh, part of the self-development world, you know that authenticity is like a major buzzword and it's a really big part of what people are craving on their self-healing journeys. And in simpler terms, it just pretty much means how to be true to yourself. And this podcast is literally called Stay True to You. So this episode is just like so on point, and I think you're really going to enjoy the conversation that I have in this live. Uh, to give you a little bit of a taste of what to expect, we really talk about the importance of what you believe and how that impacts the way you express yourself. And I've created a formula that I share in this live that you're going to hear very soon and take it away as a formula that you apply to your mindset and create that shift for yourself because it's a big one, right? The way you, what you believe is how you express yourself. It's true. When you think about it, what are you believing and how is that impacting the way you show up to your life and the world? You'd be amazed at all the beliefs that you carry. So it's a really beneficial conversation. And then we also talk about how we care so much about what people think or say about us and how it's time to shed that and no longer give a damn. It's very liberating. And I know it's not easy to commit to because we are driven by society. We are social creatures. We care about our communities and it's good to but at the cost of what? If it's coming at the cost of your peace of mind and your self-expression, mm, it's time to reconsider. So I'm not going to hold back any longer. Let's dive right into the episode and I hope you enjoy it. Feel welcome to share with your loved ones and uh, I want to hear from you. DM me on Instagram or comment on this episode and share what resonated with you and how you plan on integrating this thought process in your life. Take care. Enjoy. Hello, beautiful humans. How are you all doing? I'm going live for the second time this month. I don't know who I am, but it feels really good to connect with you guys in this space and to share some mindful messages. So um, as we reach the end of summer, I've been reflecting on how we're transitioning into a new season and just like what that means energetically for us and what it would feel like to be able to make the most of this next chapter of the year. And I feel like it always comes down to the foundation of authenticity. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, what it means to be authentic. And a couple of you are in self-healing journey advance. Some of you that have not gone through self-healing journey advance You'll get a sneak preview of one of the healing modalities that I share in the second cohort of Self-Healing Journey. And it's a formula that I made up last year 
for a women's circle that I was hosting. And the topic was about self-expression. How do you express yourself in the most authentic way? And it had a lot to do with, you know, going against societal conditioning, the societal standards, people's expectations, your own expectations, the milestone ladder, right? And if you forget what the milestone ladder is, picture rungs of a ladder and each rung is a different milestone in life that you're trying to reach and achieve. May it be getting your education, getting a car, you know, getting engaged, getting married, buying a house, all of those different milestones that we really put a lot of emphasis on. It becomes this ladder that we're constantly trying to climb and it can put a lot of pressure on us based off of where we're at in our timelines. So that could really impact the way you express yourself. And, um, The formula that I created, I share in Self Healing Journey Advanced, and I thought it would be nice to just like share a preview of what it is with all of you in this space. This way you get a taste of what the work entails and also to be able to integrate it into your own life. Um, So the formula is this, self-belief equals self-expression. And um, it's a very... uh, foundational formula because at the core of it all when you really consider what is it that you believe about yourself about the world about how things should be done right and how does that impact the way you express yourself right so self-belief has a lot to do with your self-expression And when you can really understand that at the core of it, that, wow, you know, like, I really believe that I am not allowed to use my voice and speak up because I was scolded by my father as a kid that I shouldn't speak as much because I'm a girl. That's a belief and that's a limiting belief. Now, if you believe that into your adulthood, how does that impact the way you express yourself both personally and professionally, right? Or, you know, I was bullied for being a brown girl in school. So if I carry the belief that I'm not allowed to, you know, be in certain rooms, if I'm not allowed to be in certain groups and organizations and circles because I'm a brown girl, that would really block my self-expression if I continue to believe that being brown means I'm not allowed to be in certain room circles and spaces, right? So really consider what is it that you believe and how is that impacting your self-expression? And if you don't know what your belief system is, do it the other way. Just like check in with yourself and see how is it that you express yourself and what is that self-expression connected to? Why do you express yourself in that way? Why do you show up in a certain way? What is it that you believe about yourself that impacts the way you show up to your life? And that's a really powerful way to assess yourself as an individual, get to know yourself better, and just to become more self-aware. So sorry if you hear the ding, ding, ding. I'm getting a lot of messages right now. So um, disregard that. So I want to leave you with a powerful question and maybe we can dig into it together. The powerful question is this, what would you do if you didn't care what anyone else thinks? Once again, here's the question. What would you do if you didn't care what anyone else thinks? That's huge. That's a really powerful question. Because when you sink into it further and further, you realize how much importance you give to the people around you. How much they have a say in your life, how much noise there is in your space and in your container. And when you can block out that noise and say, I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think. 
I don't care what people will say. <sighs> that feels like just pure relief. Like my shoulders went down, my back felt loose. You know, like I could feel that release of heaviness when I just vocalized and said out loud that I'm not gonna care about what people think or say. I'm gonna do me. And that really ties into a really healthy and positive, authentic expression, right? And you know very well how the core of your self-healing journey is the voices in your head, the conversations that you're having within yourself. May it be with your ego or with your intuition. And your ego will be loud and say, oh, but it's so important to care about what people think and say. It's so important because then you'll belong in society. Then you'll fit in. Then you'll have a place to be. But that's just conditioning that we have had generation after generation, time and time again. And it comes at the cost of who you truly are at your core. So when you connect with your intuition and ask, well, who am I really? How do I want to show up if I don't care about what people think or say? You'd be surprised what comes up for you and all the realizations you have about your truth and who you really are, right? And I think that's what it means to be authentic, to be true to yourself and really connect with your inner truth, right? And shine a light on that, really embody that state of being regardless of the noise around you of what the people in your community would think or say. Because guaranteed, the people that are making comments and judgments, they don't know themselves either. They don't know who they are as individuals. So they're probably just judging everybody, everything. They're judging themselves. People that are not content are the ones that judge. People that are genuinely happy will be your biggest cheerleaders. Remember that. So why give importance to the naysayers and the ones that are just not content or happy with life? They're not happy. So if they're not living an authentic life, who are they to make a comment about your authenticity, right? And that's a really big realization that the inauthentic lives that are being lived are the ones that are going to be rubbed the wrong way when they're around your authenticity because it's just not familiar to them. It's uncomfortable. They don't have that awareness that it's possible to live an authentic life because they are so in that paradigm of unconsciousness, of being blocked by the noise, right? We're all in the same containers, in the same world, but how you choose to live your life in this world is your choice. You have a say in the matter. And that's what it means to reclaim your power. It takes courage. It takes a certain level of boldness to live an authentic life, but it's so worth it. And that is why you are on your self healing journey. So I'm going to leave you with that one more time. The question is that I want you to really sit with these next few weeks is what would you do if you didn't care what anyone else thinks? And let the surprise come. Let the realizations come. And if you feel called to journal on it or make a voice memo or record yourself talking to the camera and just speak about it right? Feel comfortable with using your voice and declare for yourself what it is that you want for yourself so that you have an authentic life. It's worth it. And it's worth going after and creating for yourself. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the live. I just felt very inspired to come on here and connect with you. Um, 
I'm going to try to go live more often in here. I want to be able to nurture you more often in this space. So if there's any topics that you want support with or you want to learn about, feel welcome to comment below. Share what you want future lives to be about. And also share your thoughts with me about this message in this live. What maybe triggered you? What maybe made you feel uncomfortable? What feels audacious to you, right? And there's a certain level of having an audacity to be authentic that comes with it. So I'm going to leave you with that. Hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.